Good morning, friends. Whoa, it is very early. Um, it's about 2.50. It was gonna be earlier, but my dad took a little time getting ready. We're on our way to the airport, so let's get driving. So since my flight was at 6 a.m., I had to get to the airport really early, which of course called for a cream cheese bagel, which honestly ended up saving me. In the airport, I'm trying to find everyone. I definitely just cried the entire descent, but you're here. And now I'm gonna find everyone else who is in the We officially made it to Israel. Um, first impressions, it's amazing. It smells so good here. It's just beautiful. It's just, it's, I don't even know how to describe it. It's so incredible. I just jumped out of the shower, so my hair is air drying. We are rushing to get downstairs for our first briefing and dinner. I have no idea what's for dinner, so excited, nervous, all these new things. I'm breaking out quite a bit from the plane ride, um, so that's great. Um, but I'm gonna try to get ready really quickly while my roommate finishes her shower and then head down. Um, but I will go ahead and show you guys our hotel room really quickly. Um, it was a clip I took before I changed, so I'll be in different clothes, but here we go. So our hotel room isn't anything really special. It's just two twin beds, which are pretty comfortable. This little miniature desk, which I just kind of used as storage. Um, our window looks out for just kind of like a parking area, but I think it's kind of beautiful, especially at night. We have our bathroom, and then this is the overall room. Okay, I'll try and show you what I'm wearing tonight. It's just this long black dress, um, and then these sandals. It's hard to show in this mirror because the beds are so close. Um, but I'm gonna be wearing pretty much maxi dresses this whole trip, just personal decision. Since it's the Holy Land, I thought that was more appropriate than like shorts, but I'm sure I will wear shorts at some point. So yeah, this is the outfit. There's this like weird painting of a little girl next to me, kind of odd. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready, fix this a little bit more, and then head downstairs. Okay, you guys, so I am back in my hotel room. Um, we finished our dinner and briefing. It was really fun. The briefing was just kind of some basic stuff and then like some Israeli history, which I pretty much already knew, but it was like a nice um, reminder. Oh, it's so pretty outside. Anyways, um, tomorrow we are getting up early, having breakfast at like 6.30, um, and then we are doing some holy sites. So we are going to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, Sepulcher, whatever, um, which is where Jesus was crucified, and then his tomb, which is amazing. Um, we're going to 
the Temple Mount, which is just a lot of holy sites. We're also going to the Western Wall. We're just doing a lot of really cool stuff. So um, policies have changed. We might be able to get some video and photos. Not sure, but I will post pictures in the vlog if I can't get a video. Um, but I will do what I can. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. The next time you see me, it will be in the morning. So come in everyone and I get to sleep in a bed, which is so much better than a plane. Goodbye. Good morning, you guys. Today is day two and I am so excited. Um, we are getting ready to go to, again, the Church of the Holy Sepulcher, um, which is gonna be really exciting. But I need to run and get breakfast, so I will see you guys down there. My trusty tears. You know, as the capital of like of, the, uh, uh, of Judea, and King David, his hands were full of blood, so that God did not allow him to build his temple. The son of King David, King Solomon, he will be the one who built that temple. You are now in the hands of God, and you will be the one who will be leading your community and the world you know, through salvation. So that will be this side. I'm gonna use my hands again. Yeah. Basically doing video production and um, finding some incredible stories from We are just currently walking through the marketplace. There are so many goodies here. It's just absolutely beautiful. But I also have to be careful not to trip and fall. We're splitting it.
for a while in Akko, where Allah lives, and his seal was found on the beach in Akko. Unbelievable. I saw it in the museum. I don't think it's here now. I think it's in Britain, but it was here in the Israel Museum. I like, wow, you know? Listen to the letter. He writes it to his son back in Spain. May God bless you, my son. May you see Jerusalem in its beauty. May you see your children's children. And may your table be as bountiful as that of our father Abraham, who knew how to set a good table. Okay? I write this letter to you from Jerusalem, the holy city. For thanks and praise to God, I was judged worthy and arrived here in peace the ninth day of the month of Elul. That's in a month, a month from now. Right? About we're now uh, the fifth day of Av. Next month is Elul, about a month from now. And I remained here peacefully until the day after the day of the Coleman, when I set off for Hebron in the West Bank, south of Jerusalem, um, the city where our forefathers are buried, the double cave in Hebron, you were of that? Abraham is buried with Sarah. It's in the Bible, right? The land was bought, purchased by Abraham to bury Sarah. Uh, and I prayed there, and I dug a grave for myself there. I bought a plot for me when I go. I want to be buried in Hebron. And right now we are visiting some Roman ruins. This is what this part of the city would have looked like um, if we had been here hundreds and hundreds of years ago, which is just crazy mind-blowing and really interesting to see. That's right, we are in the old city. <laughs> and we are leaving. While, while leaving the old city. Yes, after a very rushed time, we tried to enjoy it, but We barely alas. saw the western wall. Yeah, like for <laughs> the fifth kidding. time. JK, anyways, um, we're gonna go get dinner, so bye. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, so it is about 9.30. Um, it's later in the evening. Not as late as some nights, but late enough. My roommate's in the shower, you can probably hear. And my face is super red because it got a little sunburnt, but that's the worst, so not that bad. Um, we are gonna go out into the city now, just a group of us, to try out some local bars. Not sure how much I'll film. I'll try to get some clips just to show you what it's like. Um, I'm pretty excited. I have not been out yet. Every night I have been way too exhausted. Tonight is no exception, but I am determined to go out in Jerusalem because this is our new last night here. I will explain more about where we are going later, um, but I am going to go ahead and go out. guys I'm in the elevator um, I'm going to my room right now we are about to get ready to go out for the day I was gone this morning going to the Holy Sepulchre again I'll talk about that later but I'm gonna get my stuff and head downstairs hello you guys so I'm in my bathroom right now 
I'm in the hotel and I'm just finishing getting ready. I'm curling my eyelashes if this bothers you, look away. Um, but I thought I would talk for a minute about what we did this morning. So yesterday we went into the old city of Jerusalem and went to the Temple Mount, which is the holy site of um, the temple where the Muslim faith is, one of the holy sites for the Muslim faith, and then also for the Jewish faith. Um, but a lot of them can't go up there um, for other religious reasons right now. So they just pray at the Western Wall. If you guys don't know any of this stuff, like definitely look it up. Um, but we went there and then we also went to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which is where um, they have Jesus's, um, the place where his cross was placed um, when he was crucified. They have his tomb and then they also have where he was anointed um, when he was taken down from the tomb. So really incredible places. Um, we went there yesterday, but we didn't really get a lot of time because then we went and walked through like the marketplace and had to go a few other spots. So that's where I went this morning as we went back, just a group of us um, at like 5 a.m. Um, walked there and then had some time to just pray and walk around these sites. And I mean, it was very emotional. I definitely got emotional there. Um, and then I got some like beautiful crosses that I purchased at like this little market. I bartered it down so it wasn't so expensive. But um, I bartered it down, got them for a good price and then took them all back to the church to bless them um, on these like holy sites. Um, and then I'm gonna give them to my family and friends, which is again, just like a formality because as a Christian, I, you know, I believe the Holy Spirit's with me always, but it was just like a really, a really neat opportunity to do this and obviously a gift that like, you can't just get anywhere else. So, uh, did that and now we had a quick breakfast, just some fruit and pastries and we are getting ready to go to the Holocaust Museum here in Israel, which obviously this is like the Jewish center. So this is gonna be really crazy. Um, and then we will also go to a Jewish cemetery and then we will go and see some more speakers, which I don't usually film because um, their conversations are more just like their opinion as a political journalist here, or um, they are a mayor or a diplomat from a city nearby, which is very cool, but it's not really appropriate for me to like, be filming them um, as much, so I'll just take, take photos, um, insert it if I can, but that's kind of the gist of what we're doing today. Sorry, I am not even looking at the camera, and I probably look crazy right now, but I'm doing what I can. I'm gonna finish getting ready and I will see you guys on the road. Right now we are underground near the western wall and we are just touring this old what would have been a roman bathhouse just like where they would go and take baths and it's under all of these like really crazy tunnels and corridors which <laughs> was kind of claustrophobic but it was really really neat to walk through here um it was actually like right next to the western wall so on my right here it's there and then underneath there were all of these like secret tunnels and stuff which is still being excavated and it's just absolutely mind-blowing that not a lot of people get to see this stuff plus it's just so raw and real and beautiful because I mean people were here and they were here hundreds and hundreds of years ago and it's still just like it was which is honestly just incredibly mind-blowing but yeah definitely a neat experience that I didn't think I would be able to have Good morning, you guys. <laughs> so, yes, I am in here doing my makeup again because this is like the only time I really have to catch up the vlog. I'm 
but um because today we are leaving this hotel um we're leaving jerusalem and we are going to tel aviv which is their old capital here in israel um we're going to stay somewhere different tonight i believe the plan is we're going to stay in like a nomadic village in the desert um we're gonna ride camels and we are going to like have dinner with this these villagers and um just sleep out under the stars and it's going to be really amazing i've heard such great things about this part of the trip um so we'll do that and then tomorrow i'm not quite sure what we're doing yet but i think that's when we will really be um in the city of tel aviv and doing more stuff there so really cool things going on i'm really having a great time um <laughs> I don't want to make this clip too long and boring but that's just kind of a wrap up of what's kind of happened um i'm kind of considering doing a debrief of the trip after like a video i don't know um maybe you guys can comment down below and let me know if this is of interest to you um but it's been great so far i'm trying to find a way to still look decent during the day like makeup wise but not um, sweat it all off and look like I'm wearing way too much because um, I mean, we are just like kind of hanging out in the desert. So it's a delicate balance, but I am going to finish getting ready, basically brush my hair um, and then head downstairs for breakfast. So today I'm wearing pretty basic makeup, my white t-shirt and my black shorts. Hoping this will be okay, we're going to the desert. Um, I'll probably have to change later if we do more activities, but it's still pretty cute. Okay, we're going to ride camels, friends, yay. Okay, we'll keep you updated if we fall off or not. This is beautiful. <laughs> Hey guys, so we just finished dinner. Um, I'll insert some photos and videos, but we are about to go and have a bonfire and go stargazing. We are camping here tonight, so in these big, beautiful tents. Um, it should be really fun. Definitely a different experience because we're like camping in the Israeli desert. Um, I'm very hot and sweaty, but I'll update you guys later.
sick like I said earlier so this smoothie is going to literally save my life I'm hoping went and got some medication from this little pharmacy it wasn't really a language barrier so that was great now we're gonna get on the bus and I'm gonna take a nap hey guys sorry I have not been vlogging that much like explaining things I've actually been pretty sick past couple of days so I've just been doing everything I can to get some clips but also not like pass out <laughs> I have a fever this morning so it's not going well for me but anyways um, I'm gonna go get a little breakfast and we're gonna head to the Sea of Galilee today so I'm pretty excited about that and you guys will see it so let's go hey, oh, you're killing us. Huh? guys get in it. hey <laughs> okay, guys, we're going on a Jeet tour to the Golan Heights. Here's my friend. Oh, we're on vlog? Goodbye, Bailey. Goodbye, friend. Oh, oh, Bailey. 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 All right, wish us luck.
you guys. We are out here um, at a gas station. Everyone's just like taking a chance to get some snacks. Use the bathroom. Um, I have my snacks here. Um, but you can kind of hear like this Muslim prayer call in the background. We just visited a mosque, which was super interesting. So yeah, we're gonna get going. basically threw everything I owned into the suitcase, which is really bad. And here's a quick overview of our room. Everyone in this area lives together, and then they all eat in the same, like, dining hall. So there's no need to have a real kitchen. But it's super interesting, but I need to go. So, see you on the bus. You guys, today is day six of being in Israel. Um, it has definitely had its ups and downs so far. I haven't shared very much about that part, but basically I just got like really sick um, and so that was really fun, but I also just got locked out of my apartment slash hotel room with all of my stuff inside and our bus is leaving like right now. So of course, I thought I'd vlog, <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm going to try to sneak in, so give me a minute. Many hours later. So we have like two days left of our trip. Um, I am looking a little haggard right now. <laughs> um, like I mentioned before, I've been sick the last few days. So it's been kind of rough, but I am pulling through. We are going to get breakfast right now and then start our day. So obviously I'll take you guys along with me. We are going to visit some places in Tel Aviv, which is where we are now. Um, and then they have more things in store, more fun things. I have our schedule, but I'm not gonna pull it out of my bag. So I guess it'll be a surprise for you too. <laughs>
morning you guys today is our last full day here in israel i'm gonna go grab some breakfast real quick and then we are going to the gaza border which is really exciting really scary but i am going to do it okay guys so honestly breakfast in israel has been my absolute favorite thing they have such an insane spread of food every morning or maybe just the hotel we're staying at is really nice i don't know but anyways it's delicious So before we start packing up and getting ready to leave, I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the hotel room we're staying in. So my roommate and I just have these two beds. We did push them apart so we had a little bit more room um, and we just have kind of our stuff all scattered about. We didn't have a lot of time spent in here in the mornings, but that's okay. Um, here is our little bathroom. It was honestly definitely crowded to get around in the mornings but we made it work um, and the showers here all have this little swinging door which I think is kind of funny definitely gets in the way but I'm not complaining um, so we have our shower and then we just have like our toilet and a tiny little counter space and our sink um, pretty simple stuff here but yeah I'm gonna get ready to go for the day it is officially time to head back to the states i just went to the beach for a little bit came home took a shower packed all of my stuff and now we're gonna head to dinner and then go to the airport so goodbye israel i'm really sad but i'm i'm ready to go home i'm excited to get back to the u.s because greatest country in the world <laughs> Well, you guys, I am officially back home. Here I am in my room. 
I just spent the last hour unpacking. I made myself a bowl of pasta, which already off to a healthy start. <laughs> um, yeah, and I changed out of the clothes I've been wearing for the past 20 hours, so we're already doing great. I also want to say a huge thank you to everyone at APAC. Um, for sending me on this trip and just providing me with such an incredible experience. I can't say thank you enough Without you, I would not have been able to learn half of the things I did I mean more than half any of the things I did and have any of those experiences because Knowing me I would have never gone to Israel on my own unprompted and now I'm counting the days until I can go back again So thank you guys so so much and I really hope to see everyone at conference soon I think it is time to end this vlog. I don't even want to know how long it is, but um, thank you all so much for following along with me for the past 10 days. It's been so fun. I'm really glad that I decided to vlog for everyone. Um, I'm so sorry that you probably had to see me looking like this the entire trip, but please make sure that you leave a comment down below your thoughts on everything and make sure you subscribe because I will be posting a video after I post this one just kind of a follow-up on the trip talking about some stuff that I didn't really get to talk about while I was there because I was obviously busy and it's probably going to be more of a what I wish I knew before going to Israel type of vlog so if you haven't been before or if you're considering going maybe if I inspired you <laughs> um, make sure you watch that one because you're gonna like it a lot but again I will end the vlog thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next ones bye also, if any of you are watching from the trip BAM miss y'all <laughs>